What's up guys, Manny Pedal here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to load a route onto the Wahoo Element Bolt. And you can also do this with the Wahoo Element Roam or any other kind of cycling computer. I'm going to be using the Element Bolt for an upcoming bikepacking chore that I'm going to be doing next weekend. And I wanted to show you guys like my software, how I streamline my routes and everything, and how to go about loading it onto this bad boy right here. And also how to organize your routes when you're in the software. And we're going to be using Ride with GPS. Going to be transitioning into CalTopo, which is an online based software they can use for building routes, route creation, and everything. And also, we're going to be transitioning that from there over to Gaia GPS, which is a nice software and app that you can use on your phone. So, we're going to be starting with Route with GPS, and it's a great way to streamline all your routes. Make sure you're knowing where you're going before you get out there because you want to make sure you have everything solid and in stone before you just jump out there on a bike tour. And I'm gonna show you like how I do it with my workflow and hopefully you can see the value in this to transition it to your own workflow. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with Ride with GPS here. And what I like most about Ride with GPS is that it's a great place to use as a library to store your routes. And so you can see I have a bunch of different routes here and we're gonna use this one here. This is the NYC Dirt Loop Bike Tour. We'll click into it. I've already uploaded it, and this is the modified version. And you can see here what I like about Ride with GPS is that it shows you like the elevation grade, which is really nice. You know, you can see this is like up and down, pretty much a roller coaster throughout the entire route. But um, it's a great way to to plot out what it looks like and everything, you know. So again, this is just a library. This is mainly where I would put my completed route once I finish modifying it and everything and again it just stays in here as a library and this is what is connected to the Wahoo so it easily syncs right to your cycling device. The next software we're going to jump into is CalTopo so let's just go ahead and do that. Now CalTopo is a nice online software that I use it's really good because it gives you lots of different options like contours and slope angle shading and everything like that and lots of different map presets. So what I'm gonna do is upload the original map and you might wanna go ahead and log in and sign up with these guys because if you don't, it won't save your map whenever you put work into it. So I'm already had logged in and everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit import and choose my file. Now when you import a, a route, it only takes GPX and KML and KMZ files, or if you're using GeoJSON, you can do that too, but I'm using a GPX. And this is the original one, as you can see now. Another thing to have in mind is to keep your routes organized. Right now I have the OG, this is the NYC Dirt Loop Tour. This is the OG original map. And then I have my modified version up here. And um, we're gonna start with the OG because I wanna show you guys how I modified it. And just go ahead and hit import. And just give it a little second to import. Make sure you have everything checked here. And there we go. As you can see, we have everything up on here now. And what you wanna do is you can just zero it in here into the map. Now, this is Manhattan Island and that's where it starts. It starts actually further south and this looks like the meatpacking district. Now what I wanna do is cut that down to about the top of Central Park, which is right here, this is Central Park. It goes from 59th Street all the way to 110th. And we're gonna be starting on the north side, so I'm gonna start over here. And I'm just gonna cut this big chunk all the way down to the meatpacking district here. And the total route mileage is 124, so when we cut it down, it should bring it to 115. So that's a pretty nice chunk. Now, what's great about this software is that you're able to modify your route lines to all the existing routes to do that. What you want to do is just go ahead and right click the route itself and oops, let's go ahead and right click it and you want to modify and just split there. It's going to split the route in two. Once you do that, you just can go ahead and, and delete that route. Sometimes like it won't take, so just zoom out and do it again. Oops funky with the mouse there. So just select it, Maybe just make sure you right click that route. Right click and go to modify and 
gonna split here. It's gonna split the route up. And that route, we're gonna select it and then just delete it. And there you go. Now we're just working with the route that's gonna start us right at the north side of the park here. This is 110th Street. So all we need to do is ride over all the way to Riverside Drive and then we'll be on route, on course. And that'll take us on our bike tour all the way around. Another great thing that's great about CalTopo software is that it's able to show you the contours and the slope angle shading. The slope angle shading I like a lot. Now, what that does, it's able to tell you how big the grades are going to be. So if we were to zero in to Bear Mountain, that's like one of, one of the bigger mountains we're gonna be climbing during our bike tour. So if we were to go over there and just zero it in to Bear, we'll be able to see and just click on the slope angles. And you can see how it gets a little darker in color from yellow all the way to purple. Now, where it gets darker, that's where the grades are a bit higher. So that kind of gives you like an idea of like how much feet it's gonna be going up. And if you put your mouse and hover it over that line where the route is, you'll be able to see how taller it gets too. So it gives you a rough estimate of what you're gonna be dealing with when you're out there. So, that's that and then again you know you can kind of get a, a glimpse of like the grading and everything when you're out with the, percent, the degrees of 35 to 45 so another rough estimate i mean honestly it's not very much so we don't really have to worry about too much climbing but yeah i mean there is going to be a great deal of it another thing you can do is add waypoints for camping sites in here um, you can also add waypoints in Ride with GPS as well, but you do have to have the premium version in order to do that. So if you do have the premium version, you can definitely add them there and then put them to your device. Uh, I like to do them in Gaia GPS, but if you want to do it here, all you have to do is just go to add and then put a marker and it'll make a red dot for you. Now we're going to be camping off route in the Harriman State Park. So what we're going to do is zero in near the Harriman area. We'll take that red dot, just drag it over up to a bear. And we need to find where we're going to be camping. So if I just kind of zero in a little bit, this mouse is a little funky, but that's just the way it is. Harriman's over to the left. So near Lake Welsh is a camping ground. And this is it over out here. Just up a pond swamp. So what you wanna do, I'll just like drop that dot right there. And what you wanna do is just name it Camping Spot Works. And then just hit OK. And there you'll have like a waypoint. So you'll be able to use that on route if you wanna use it for this software. Now to take this and put it into Gaia, which is what I like to use because Gaia is a great software if you wanna take your route offline. So Gaia also has the phone app that you can use and if you don't have any cell phone service, as long as you have it and built it before you left to go on your tour, then it'll load it right to your phone, super easy. And it's just a good way to streamline all your route information. So not only using your device, if your device were to blow out or the, the battery dies, if you can't charge it for some odd reason, then you have the phone app Gaia that you can use as another source. So in order to get this in there, what we wanna do is just go ahead and export this route. And then what you wanna do is export it as a GPX file. And just hit export. And that should do it. Now what we're gonna do is get out of this and we're going to go to Gaia. Now, this is our Gaia layout. I have the same topo map that I use with CalTopo just to keep everything together, make sure everything's consistent. Now what we want to do is upload a route. Now to upload a route, all we got to do is just go, let's refresh it here. And we want to just go to upload. Now, since I had already exported that route what I'm gonna do is just I'm not gonna work off the exported version so I'll go ahead and X that out but I'm gonna work off my version that I already worked on before in CalTopo so just go ahead and select and we're gonna click that route this is the one that's modified here not the OG but the one above it 
and we'll just go ahead and open it here. It'll load the route and everything here. And all we want to do is then save that item. And it should take a little bit of time to pretty much save and everything. But once it's saved, it's good to go. And that should be that. And you can see, we can look at everything we have here. This is our full route. Now what's great about Gaia GPS is that if you have the phone app, you're logged in, it'll automatically sync the route to your device on your phone. And I'm gonna show you guys how that works right after we finish up with this. And it's great. Like all you have to do is just build it on the software itself and then transfer it over to the phone. It will sync up like flawlessly. Now, since we have this route here and everything's dialed in, um, if you want, you can add your waypoints in here as well, which is pretty simple to do. But now what we're going to do is go back to ride with GPS. And from here, I'm going to show you guys how to get this onto your device. Now you can take this route, you can export it as a GPX or you can take it as a TCX. A TCX file is going to give you turn by turn to right directions. It's ba better for like more modern style GPS units and everything. A GPX is going to give you like a nice breadcrumb trail, which is still really good to use. Um, I like to have both. So for instance, my uh, Wahoo Element Bolt, that's going to give me like turn by turn based off of the data off the TCX file from Rabbit GPX. And what's great about Rabbit GPS is that it syncs right to the device here and it's going to be flawless. And with Gaia, it's going to pretty much upload directly to the cell phone app. So, you know, it's good to have both. One thing to keep in mind is to not have them on all the time. Like don't run your app all the time with Gaia because it can totally blow out your, your battery. It will drain your battery. With the Wahoo, you know, you just have to charge it via USB. So I recommend bringing some kind of power pack with you so that you can charge no matter where you are. You always have backup to charge this thing. So yeah, uh, let's jump into the phone and let's jump into the Wahoo. I'm gonna show you how it uploads with Gaia first and then we'll get into how it uploads with the Wahoo and that'll be pretty much it. And it's super easy, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so now in order to have this display on the Gaia app, what we wanna do is just go ahead and log in into our phone. You might wanna go ahead and download the app if you don't have it. Go into Gaia and all you would need to do is, I'm gonna show you how to go, where to go to first. You wanna to go to saved. There's a save folder in the app itself. Again, this is all my bike touring route. You'll be able to see here all of other places I've toured and stuff. Now it saves from the the newest is going to be at the very top, and you can see here NYC Dirt Tour Bike Loop. All you got to do is just go ahead in there, and you'll see the route here: 115.32 miles, almost a total of 7,500 feet of climbing, and just go ahead and hit that. Show it on the map, and there we have it. This is where we'll be able to zoom in to where we are right now. It records our location and the route's gonna be over here to the left. So all we need to do is just ride over west and then just start heading north from here and we'll be good to go. And again, you can see it here, another view of it on the app. Again, this is gonna be Gaia, this is offline. Now all you gotta do is like you run out of service it'll always be saved on your device, on your phone. So no matter where you are, all you gotta do is hit that spot and it'll tell you like, it'll spot where you are in your location on the map here. So definitely recommend the Gaia app for that. Super, super good. I've been using it for years for all my bike packing and bike touring tours and everything. So yeah, this is how you do it on the Gaia app. And I'm gonna sh now show you guys how to do it with the Wahoo Element Bolt. Let's get into that. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and sync everything up that we've done to the Wahoo Element Bolt. I already have it warmed up and on. We just gotta go into the Wahoo Element Companion app. You wanna make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi and that you're on Bluetooth. That's how we're gonna sync everything up. Now what you wanna do is just go ahead and go to Choose Route from the Companion app and you're gonna go to Sync from Web. You wanna make sure you have Route with GPS checked off because that's how it's gonna sync everything up. Once that's done, just go ahead and then go all the way down to the routes and you'll see it right in here. And there you go. Now, if you wanna just go ahead, you can look at it 
all the elevation gains right, 115.57 miles, a little over 8,100 8, feet of climbing, 1.5 miles away. Down the block is where we need to start it pretty much, so that's good. What we wanna do is go ahead and hit select, and it'll sync it to your phone, and once it's loaded, you'll see it says route loaded, and then all you gotta do is go to the page option here on the device itself, and it'll put you on the route section of the Wahoo Element Bolt itself. You can zoom out a little bit, and you can see that little breadcrumb trail right there on the top and the left. That's where we need to go. It acquires all the GPS units and everything, and once you start riding, it'll automatically start telling you where you need to go, left and right. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, guys, it was just this is how you go about doing it. You know, it's super, super easy. Wahoo makes it really easy for you to load routes, and you can just go ahead and hit start to time it and everything. And hopefully, you can just kind of get some KOMs along the way. <laughs> so that's that. That's that. Guys, I hope this video offered value for you and I hope that you can utilize this to build your own routes and go on your own adventures and bike tours and bike packing trips and everything. So leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.